Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Serrano, and today we're going to talk about two phones from Metro by T Mobile that you can pick up under $200. Now, both of these devices I've been using for quite some time now. This is the Alcatel 3V 2019. It does feature a 6.7 inch display, 720 times 1440. Now, overall, the body is really nice. It has speakers down below right next to the earpiece as well and it does also have this glossy finish on the back to prevent fingerprints and scratches as well you get a fingerprint sensor on here as well as a dual camera setup and we're going to get into that in a lot more detail now when you actually pick up the device and hold it it has a nice feel in hand aesthetically it does feel really nice with that boxy squared off design uh, the edges are all rounded so when you're holding it in your hand it has a nice comfortable feel it doesn't feel too big it actually um, has a really nice feel when it when you're holding it in your palm the, 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 the edge will rest gently in your hand with that nice glossy uh, back finish which is really good which I do like now the Moto G stylus also has a nice really good feel in the hand it has rounded edges as well so when you're holding it you can actually feel the texture on the power button, which is really pleasing. And also it does have a really beautiful display, which is actually a full HD display versus the 720 display that you're going to be sporting on the Alcatel 3V 2019. Now the bodies of these phones are really different, but you are getting plastic composites on the back and they have a really nice design, but the screen size is 6.4 inches on the Moto G stylus versus 6.7 inches. Now, one of the main differences comes with the actual performance. Now you're getting better performance on the Moto G stylus because it has more RAM and a better processing chip. We'll talk about that in some more detail and it also has a better camera setup so that's one thing to note now if you're the type of person who likes screens and um you like to look watch a lot of t movies and like just you're somebody who's always intaking media then the alcatel 3v might be for you because it has a huge big display which gives you uh better uh, results when you're typing and viewing and browsing media on your phone now if you're the type of person who takes a ton of notes who likes to stay productive throughout the whole day you might you have that additional stylus feature that will allow you to you know browse through email browse through web pages use this simply for uh, scrolling through your media with the slide of a uh, stylus tip is actually more convenient than your finger when you're actually deleting more than 50 emails per uh, session maybe you want to get rid of a ton of emails that stylus is more productive than working with your finger and it's also a good t tool for drawing now if you compare the dimensions of these phones one is 158 times 78.92 millimeters where the other one is 174 times 83.8.4 millimeters so you're getting a, a much thicker um, phone with the Moto G stylus but you're also getting a lot taller and wider phone with the Alcatel 3V. Now, as far as the camera setups on around back, you're going to notice that we're getting a triple camera setup on the Moto G Stylus, which features a 48 megapixel camera, and we're actually getting a 16 megapixel camera on the Alcatel 3V. The button placements are on the same exact side, and you can see that the other side is clean on both phones. Now, on the bottom of both phones, we are getting the speaker setup as well as the Type C, and you also get that stylus tucked away nicely on the Moto G, which is a really nice tool. And you can see uh, the headphone jack is up top on the Alcatel 3V, and they also sport uh, fingerprint sensors. Now you're getting facial recognition on the Alcatel 3V, but you're not getting that option on the G stylus. So when it comes to the performance of the Alcatel 3V, we're rocking a decent chipset, um, but around top is the dragon tail pro uh, glass with a plastic back and plastic frame and lcd display which is actually really nice it does have a media tech 
MT6762 Helio P22 12 nanometer processing chip with the Power VR GE8320 GPU. So it's a really good processing power for games like Call of Duty and PUBG and um, Asphalt 9. Maybe you want to play, you know, like your basic games like that. It runs perfectly fine, no issues whatsoever. And the highest that you can get on YouTube is actually 720. Now, the cameras record at 1080, which is actually pretty good, but they don't go up to uh, 4K, which kind of sucks. But that's what you're getting with the Moto G sty uh, stylus. Now, on the Alcatel 3V, you do get the Pump Charge Express fast charging, as well as a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. And you're getting the 5 gigahertz band for Wi Fi as well, so you can actually get really quick speeds when downloading a ton of apps at the same time now you are able to use these phones on metro by t-mobile um my version is actually unlocked through metro by t-mobile so i can use it with my cricket wireless sim card as well well actually no that's my cool pad legacy and my lg stylo 5 but i'm gonna unlock this one as well but the moto g stylus comes unlocked if depending on where you buy it the one i have is unlocked from amazon.com so it's, it was actually $2.99, but you can get it for less than that with a port over special from Metro by T-Mobile, but prices range daily. Now, on the Moto G stylus, the gaming was actually absolutely um, effortless. It was really smooth on Call of Duty, and I didn't see any real dra frame drops at all. Now, we are running Android 10 on the Moto G stylus, which is actually a step up from the Android 9 on the Alcatel 3P 2019. And we are rocking a better chipset, which is Snapdragon 665 with an 11 nanometer processing chip. And it has an Adreno 610. So it's definitely a step up from the I'll go to three feet 2019. Now, another thing that it's really good at as well is the cameras. This one offers a lot of cool features for the cameras. We're getting the triple camera set up. The main one is a 48 megapixel f uh, 1.7, with which is 26 millimeters wide. And then you're also getting another camera, which is 16 megapixels, which is an f 2.2, which is 107 degree ultra wide dedicated video camera which is going to give you the option to um hold it in a portrait mode so you can take action shots and it the photo the camera will still come out horizontally for youtube videos so i think this this um moto g stylus is designed really well for taking video now you're the last thing you're going to be getting is the two megapixel macro camera which has a dedicated mode for video as well and it also does have electronic image stabilization it can record up to 40 30 frames per second 1080 30 frames per second and 60 as well as slow motion 120 frames per second too so i thought that was cool as well and i do like it does have a gyro sensor as well included uh, so you're getting a lot of different features with it and uh, honestly it does have a lot of features for that price point uh, which one of the main things that i definitely like about the Moto G stylus is the fact that it does have HDR compatibility support. So if you're watching HDR movies on Netflix or YouTube, you will get that uh, higher density of colors and saturation on the palette and then on your screen panel, which actually makes it makes you be able to absorb content with um, more clarity and also truer uh, colors. And also the other thing to note is that both of these phones do rock the dual speakers, but the, the only thing is that the Moto G stylus is going to be tuned with uh, Dolby. So it's not Dolby Audio Atmos, it's just Dolby Audio, but doesn't have that Atmos technology, but it's actually tuned very well. You are getting your Google Home. But one thing about the Alcatel 3V is that it implements the Metro Play. So you're actually getting your news and some short TV um, channels to watch right out of the box, which I think Metro by T-Mobile did a good job implementing in there. So as far as entertainment, I would definitely be happy with the Alcatel 3V and the size and also the performance of it. But if you wanted to make your performance a lot better you can get the moto g stylus because it's going to give you that additional option to have additional cameras to mess around with and play around with to your own preference which i definitely think is a, a thing that a lot of people would like to have is like cameras that they could like mess around with and kind of use 
uh, all the time. But I definitely think that both of these phones are very well built, very well made, and also very good phones for a person who is looking to spend less than around $100 and eighty dollars but if you found this video helpful hit the like button and show your support and appreciation as well and i'll check you guys later and lastly thank you for watching you guys are the real mvps i appreciate every last one of you for checking out my videos make sure you hit the bell icon so you can show your support and appreciation as well as hitting the bell icon so you can get notified for all future videos just like this but it's your boy serrano and i'll check you guys later but in the meantime have a great morning afternoon evening depending where you are